welcome welcome guys to a new update video for my fps guides and we are having today the 6th of april so we will do the things that we missed in our first part and also update like the infos that we had on our um epic games and fortnite settings with the updates that came in so yeah mm, we'll give some info that is additional good and will help also that i didn't um, rem reminded or mentioned in the last part so with what we will start is most likely the services of our pc so we will go into our search bar type in services then we will have our list of services and um, also a quick reminder you go for here and click run as administrator that's important and we will go through all the list of services we have on our pc and also that we can manually disable because if you see startup type some has manual some one some of them are automatic and some are disabled so we will disable the automatically starting services that are not needed for our pc at all so um, we can quickly fill it out to see overall what is turned on automatic ones but we will go through name that's easier and we will start with our um <laughs> with algin router service as we see here we go right click on it properties and disable it boom okay so it stopped as you see and it will be not starting again it's used for a routing the allergen messages for allergen clients but well, all join clients but you don't even use that at all uh, bluetooth support service if you're running some bluetooth devices that are connected through bluetooth to your pc then you don't need to turn it off but if you don't use any bluetooth devices with your pc go into find the bluetooth services support services right click it go into it disable it apply okay after that we go for geolocation services um geolocations are used as responsible for monitoring the current location of your system and this one is running so we go for disable and no one will know where you are sitting at the moment phone services the service manages the telephony state on the computer do you need phone <laughs> Do you, do you use a phone on your pc i think not you have like at home a phone staying so you can basically disable this you scroll down to p phone services manual trigger you go for disable apply okay some services are man manually triggered by me so as you see and I'm, I'm also disabling them so you can maybe on your pc it will be even automatic staying so just watch for it and disable it as i'm doing it now touch keyboard and handwriting panel services it's by t there we go it's disabled as you see by me so you go also for here disable apply okay i've already disabled it windows biometric service that's also a service for what is the service is responsible for capturing and storing biometric data without gaining access to the biometric hardware that's really also useless for our pc and for us we are playing games and not doing any biometrical stuff so we disable this a windows mobile hotspot service do you really create from your pc with your phone a hotspot on your pc i think not so if you do it don't disable it if you don't need it disable it as i'm doing it get out windows um adobe Auto acrobate update service go back to a mm, and let's see we don't have this even it's from adobe uh, acrobat update service it's about uh, for adobe um, apps i think to update them so if you have adobe acrobat uh, update service disable it i don't have it so i don't need to disable it download maps manager it's with the starting where is it do i have it even yeah we have it automatically it's starting so delayed start I disa i'm disabling it okay internet explorer atv collector service this service collects real-time atv events from internet explorer who is using internet explorer in 2k18 if you're using then i don't know you can but it's about maps and some real-time atv events so i think it's not even needed if you even use internet explorer 
if you will see that something changed with disabling it you can just uh, revert the changes later you can back in and do it but otherwise just disable it also i'm trying to find it but as i see internet explorer is not even here existing so i don't even not need to really disable it internet explorer atv collector service if you have that disable it internet um principaler okay this p disabled already so you go here and disable it okay um what we have else here skype updater we go for skype if we have it even installed i feel like i don't have it but most of you guys for sure have skype installed it's like a really old classics uh, software on every pc but i think i fully uninstalled it already so i don't have it but skype up skype uh, skype updater also you go click on it disable you are done let's go on and um, windows media player network sharing service we will find it here windows and m media player network sharing service that should be it disable it um a windows update also a useless thing enables the detection download and installation of updates for windows you can basically as a service used for detecting downloading and installing latest windows updates i'm not updating my pc you can leave this if you use updates on windows uh, daily but i don't update at all my pc but it's recommended to update your pc if you have a lines lines byte and stuff like that so do it don't disable this i'm disabling it because i'm not updating at all my pc and i'm working i'm running fine for the last two years Kappa. Um, auto time zone update this service works in order to update the time zone automatically i think it can be left we will don't touch it uh, don't touch it uh, bluetooth hands-free service go up bluetooth hands-free service we go for properties disable apply okay enterprise app management service enterprise enterprise going down there we go it's stopped okay it's not working but it's manually it can manually be restarted and we can't we can't edit it so maybe yeah it's on local computer i feel like it's it, i don't have permissions to do it can be hyper v heartbeat service you see there manually triggering disable it boom what is it? it's done the service is used for monitoring the state of virtual machine by sending heartbeats at regular intervals so if you're not using a virtual machine virtual machine is like i don't know it's like a small um whole windows xp or windows 7 and on your windows 10 pc so you can like have a manual manually virtually created pc but i think guys you're not using it disable this stuff and yeah that's it uh so we for now we disabled like 20 apps that we don't need to use and we should be fine now there's like some some apps like xbox that you can also disable xbox game monitoring xbox services so you can literally also disable all this xbox stuff that i'll be also here doing it's, uh, you see some some are some we don't have any permissions to change them it's like random on pc but yeah we will try to disable all xbox stuff that we don't need though good that we have can disable at least some of them so we disable some xbox stuff um what else what else can we uh, disable i would say maybe some stuff that is for example printer some telephony but like it's enough that we disabled already 20 uh, 20 like about 20 of them so you don't need really to disable anything else and as you see we will here have here some manual starting and all, all others automatic stuff uh, leave it on i think it's enough so yeah that's about a service guys we go further on into our fortnite we launch fortnite we know that also a fortnite got updated so yeah there's some new settings Oh, quick. Through them.
Starting the game, the beautiful Fortnite game. There we go. So, in our video settings, we have now a 3D resolution thing that we can change. Also, don't forget, like, always use Fortnite in full screen. Best option. Um, FPS limit. For example, you see you're playing the game and your FPS is going from 150 FPS to 99 or 70 sometimes when you fight. Then better limit it to 120. So for example, from 120 FPS, it's dropping to 90, you know? That's better for PC, then it will drop from 140 to 109 uh, to 90 or 70 or from 200 fps to 70 it will be like really painful so better keep it as low as possible so it will be stable 120 it's sometimes going a bit lower but without really big uh big influence you know that will be the best also about recommended stuff um how how good or how bad the image will be i would recommend if your pc is okay for example as mine um, and you're running easily Fortnite on 200 FPS. You can go for any settings like unlimited 160 or 144, and have it 100 full, or at 90. You didn't don't will really see any difference as I have at the moment set it up. And for lower end PC or medium PCs, I would go for something like around 60. You should try it like by 60 or 70 around this. You need to play with it. This will be like a medium PC, so you will have like more than 144 FPS. And if your PC is really low end, you can really just basically drop it to 50 around and see if it's playable. If the image is not playable, then try not to lower this, but lower this one. And go for to, uh, 69 to 120, uh, 720p or 900p. Like you need to play with the resolution overall, change it and see how it will look like looks like if it's playable because like as you see now even my game changed and it looks really blurry like you can't see anything here so you see like you can play around it and make it lower as much as possible and just see how it will look like if it's playable or not so play with it guys and yeah and find the perfect settings go lower resolution go windowed mode maybe I don't recommend that but try it out experiment but like full screen and lower it and go like for the lowest possible settings should maybe help you guys restore to the uh, normal decline uh, it's not not going yeah there we go ah okay you see it's like even now with the normal settings so we're going back to our normal settings we had so yeah guys that's what you need to play around now you have this option it's pretty good it can really boost your fps high so you will see how it will work for you out but i recommend really to do it like this also a quick thing that i will say also that a good thing is accessibility and tree the uh, the color correction so this is off and i'm using now tree it's like in the old fortnite and i done it to 10. so you can try it out with the color if it looks good because for me it looks really amazing for me it's really good and yeah the fps will be uh, fine game settings are done and we go back to our um to our desktop and let's go into browser settings like to set up our browser to don't get um random viruses and all that stuff that people are getting so what you need to do if you get some weird uh, pop-ups for promotion and stuff just do it like this you go into in the top right corner google chrome then you go into your instruments and you go into extensions. It's on Ukrainian, sorry. But yeah, you have your, your extensions and you can see all the extensions that you are installed on your computer. Maybe it can look like this. I don't know. But for me, it's like looking like this. Yeah. And you see the names. So for example, if you have adblock, leave it on. Everything with normal names, leave it on, for example. But if you will have like something like i don't know like really um some apps that you don't know just disable it from google you can leave it on google things but everything else just turn it off as you see here and only use the things that you're using for example adblock it is really important because if you have some annoying pop-ups with uh, ads and stuff just go into google adblock chrome install this 
and there you go you have adblock installed install it and you're you are good and you will use it it's pretty good it will block all the promotions on twitch and youtube and all anything else that you click might be sometimes and disable all the extensions that you don't need because extensions viruses are installing here so you will have some random apps here that are popping up and these are viruses so you need to turn it down that you don't know and leave on all everything that you're using at the moment that's how you do for your browser and also what i recommend also for sure do regular antivirus scans while you need to scan it after that just turn off all your antiviruses because it's really important to turn it down for example i have my task i have my task manager and before i start playing i'm always going into it i'm checking what programs i'm using here and that are working if i see microsoft store is working i click end task to finish it if i see here steam and i don't use it i finish it if i have here music on films and tv shows photos i'm just disabling it and closing everything that is not needed as you see like these are default things i leave, I leave them on but everything else you need to close and delete it like or end the ta task process so your pc will be not loaded and even now i'm now recording my pc is just loaded for nine percent and you need to check what is really also loaded if it's like in a default state where you don't you don't have any games on turned on and you're not like recording or streaming and it's 100 then you have some serious issues with your pc and there are some viruses or you need to check what processes you just click on this and filter out what is most taking resource if it's like a random process you need to delete it or if you cannot like uh, end it and finish it you go into properties and you want to find where it's located and delete it or you go into details and you watch what is also here with it and try to open file location and delete this stuff for example so yeah that's about like tipu task manager because some of people like really have some issues startups you need to disable everything that you don't use at all as you see i'm just using the programs that i need here and the last thing that i would go again about and talk about is on laptops on really old laptops if you have like uh, your power plan set now from my last guy to high performance try um, and you get really high temperatures like it's running really the heat is really high and it's really warm on your pc laptop for example and you see that it's really hot running go into process power management into minimum process state and maximum process state and try to change it from 100 to 9999 and also here to go it for 90 for example so this will really help you out and your pc and laptop will never run again too hot and just go 4k that should be really help uh, helping out and it fixes the problem with heating when it's really hot for sure you need to clean your notebook also just like go under it and uh, try to get the dust out you know but also this setting will really help your uh, your laptop to don't overheat and all that stuff that is here and for sure also system cooling policy should be active so it will be good but if your pc is fine and your temperatures are not going too high then you go back to the normal settings that i recommended minimum and uh, maximum to 100. so yeah that's about this um stuff we, i think we touched everything that we needed um from the settings also and yeah i hope it was helpful um next guys will come out if new things will arrive and i hope you enjoyed guys ask me any questions that you will need um if it will be needed um i can also guys manually help to fully set up your pc you just need to add me on my discord the link will be provided down below in my video and you will see like i can help for you i can help you guys but also it will like to get my time on it you will need also maybe to do like a small donation or we can just talk about it it will be not for free done for sure because it will take some time but i can help you if you see you cannot do it by yourself and you need some manual help i can connect your pc remotely and help you out and boost your overall performance and set up your pc in a way it should work so yeah guys peace out i hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next video peace out and take care Bye-bye.